This is Stone Cold Soup, a whimsical teacher tube story adaptation of the Thanksgiving classic, Stone Soup. Meet Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve Austin is a famous wrestler. He wanted to become even better at what he did. He decided to travel all the way to Mexico for his Thanksgiving vacation. There, he hoped to train with the best luchador on his team. He went to train with... Aerostar. Aerostar and Steve Austin had never met. Stone Cold Steve Austin hoped to surprise Aerostar when he arrived. When Steve Austin arrived in Mexico City, Mexico, he decided to check into his hotel. His stomach was feeling a little rumbly, so he decided to go to the hotel restaurant and order a healthy meal to power up for meeting the man he hoped would be his new mentor, Aerostar. In the restaurant, he had many wonderful choices. Tortas, tacos, barbacoa, and guess. Gazpacho. The gazpacho was something he'd never had before. With the puree tomatoes, cucumbers, sweet bell peppers, onions, garlic, and olive oil, this cold soup was hydrating, healthy, and heavenly. It was like V8 in a bowl but 10 times better. With Caspato on his lips, Stone Cold Steve Austin was ready to go meet Aerostar and the Luchador wrestlers. He took a cab to their well-known training facility. When he got there, he did not receive the greeting he was expecting. Aerostar and the other Luchador wrestlers were arguing the argument seemed so silly, he couldn't even really tell what they were about. This was a disaster! Steve had to think of a clever plan to stop the arguing. It was getting so intense that they even started taking it to the ring. Let's talk about this, Steve said to Aerostar and the other luchadors. They were so upset that they ignored him. They went right on arguing and fighting. A thought occurred to Steve as his stomach did a little rumble. Maybe these wrestlers weren't really angry. Maybe they were just hangry. Look at this, guys, Steve pleaded as he tried to show them a picture of the delicious gazpacho he'd had for lunch. Still, they ignored him. Steve decided he'd have to take matters into his own hands. One by one, he went up to each luchador. He nearly got knocked over when he asked Aerostar if they kept a blender in their kitchen. Middle cabinet on the top right shelf, the massive luchador replied through gritted teeth. Right after he found the blender, he found two cans of fresh, double-concentrated tomato puree on the shelf below. This will be the perfect base, he thought, as he emptied both into the blender. Next, he asked if Lucha Pachania had any cucumbers he could use. I brought some for my afternoon snack today, he shouted over the ruckus. You could arm wrestle me for them. The two of them arm wrestled, and Stone Cold Steve Austin won, but just barely. Carefully, he added the cucumbers to the blender. As he did, he noticed some garlic-flavored olive oil sitting on the counter. Thank goodness, he thought to himself. I didn't want to arm wrestle for that. He knew he wasn't going to find any onions or peppers sitting around in the cabinets or on counters. So he had to go face the mess again. 
he had noticed a plastic container of freshly cut vegetables in the refrigerator labeled Atlantis. What would Atlantis ask in return for his vegetables? He had to have peppers and onions. With apprehension, he approached the strong man near the practice mat. Atlantis, could I please use the peppers and onions you have in the team's refrigerator? Steve asked in his sweetest and calmest voice possible. You can have them if you help me in this match I'm about to start. I need you to tag team Kung Fu and Sombra with me. I guess it's good practice, Steve thought to himself. I accept, Steve announced to Atlantis. Later in the kitchen, feeling his stomach rumbling even more than before, he pulled the onions and peppers out of Atlantis' Tupperware. One handful at a time, he added them to the blender. All of the basic ingredients were there. He added a dash of salt, five sprinkles of pepper, and a pinch of cayenne from the spice cabinet. Finally, he was ready to press the puree button on the blender. Whirr! He had created the cool mixture he'd been working so hard to put together. The noise from the blender stopped the luchadors in their tracks. All of them rushed into the kitchen to see what the ruckus was. They really didn't want anyone messing with their food. There, they saw the mysterious man, who had arm wrestled one of them, and had a tag team match with three of them, holding up bowls of red liquid. What's going on in here? They growled in his direction. Steve smiled back and said, I made a gazpacho! Without further explanation, Stone Cold Steve Austin started to hand out the Stone Cold Soup to each of the wrestlers. Yum! Kung Fu mumbled, his mouth half full of the tomato mixture. Delicious! declared Atlantis in between big bites. Absolutely amazing! the Sombra said in the middle of satisfied slurps. Aerostar realized what a genius Steve Austin was. Steve had figured out that his luchadors weren't really mad at each other. Instead, they were hangry. You are amazing! Who are you? inquired Aerostar. I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin and I've come all the way from America to train with you and your luchadors. A huge smile crept across Arrow Star's face as he told Steve that he was welcome to train with them any time he wanted to. In fact, he even said he'd be honored to be his official luchador mentor. That night, the group of new friends had a Thanksgiving-style feast. They discussed plans to train with Steve Austin in Mexico and in America. They ate turkey, tacos, mashed potatoes, tamales, barbacoa, stuffing, tortas, rolls, and of course, gazpacho. They all agreed that the stone cold soup was the most unique and tasty dish of the feast. Yum. That day, Stone Cold Steve Austin learned an important lesson. Showing caring and kindness is a great way to solve problems, and it can even help you make new friends. Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher Tube. Teachers, make sure you check the description for linked products, and of course, like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Free.
created using Powtoon.